I am Anil Kumar and we will further explore how to find absolute maximum minimum for trigonometric function. The question here is determine absolute extreme value of y equals to sin x minus cos x where x is between 0 to 2 pi. So we are given boundary conditions, right? So let's begin by finding the critical number y equals to sin x minus cos x. So the derivative is cos x minus of minus sin x and that gives us cos x plus sin x. Now for critical number this derivative should be 0 so we are trying to find the critical number right. So for critical number the derivative should be 0 so we will equate this to 0 and solve for x. So we could write this as, you could write this as, let's take sine on this side. So what I'm trying to say is minus sine x equals to cos x. And dividing by cos x, we get minus sine x over cos x equals to 1. Or that gives uh, minus tan x equals to one or tan x equals to minus one. Either way, so we have tan x equals to minus one as our equation and to solve this let us consider the coordinate system and we know tan is negative in these two quadrants and the value is pi by four. The acute angle for these two quadrants for tan to be minus one is pi by 4. That's the acute angle, right? Pi by 4. So we know what x is. And from here we get two critical points. Uh, sorry, we are looking for minus. So it is it is in this quadrant. Sorry. In this quadrant. So 3 pi by 4. So for minus, it is this value, which is 1 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4. And the other value is 1 less than 8, which is 7 pi by 4. So these are the two values, and these are our critical numbers. So we get the critical numbers as x equals to 3 pi by 4 and 7 pi by 4. So now let us find the value of the function at the critical numbers and at boundary, correct? So let's evaluate using the calculator. The values at x equals to so so we'll find the value of this function at x equals to zero. At x equals to two pi, that is the boundary, and then at x equals to three pi by four, and at x equals to seven pi by four. So these are the values which we need to calculate and then compare the result to find when do we have absolute maximum and when do we get absolute minimum, right? So y equals to sine 0 minus cos 0 and then here we have y equals to sine 2 pi minus cos 2 pi. Here we have y equals to sine 3 pi by 4 minus cos 3 pi by 4 and then we have y equals to sine 7 pi by 4 minus cos 7 pi by 4 right so we can use calculator to evaluate these values correct so you you should actually put the mode in radians that is most important mode is in radians and then just calculate right so we have sine 0 minus cos 0, right? I know you could have written the value directly, but I'll prefer you to use calculator and write all the values, minus 1, right? Then we have sine 2 pi minus cos 2 pi, bracket close, equal to minus 1. Then sine 3 pi by 4, so we write sine 3 pi by 4, 3 pi divided by 4 minus cos 
3 pi divided by 4 bracket close equals to square root 2 and then we have sine 7 pi 7 pi divided by 4 minus cosine 7 pi divided by 4 equals to minus square root 2. So that is the result. You could write this in decimals to compare. This is more negative, right? This is actually minus 1.414. You get the idea, right? So we get the extreme values here. So these are the two extreme values. So that is more than 1, which is 1.414, correct? So we get our result. We have absolute maximum at 3 pi by 4 and absolute minimum at 7 pi by 4. So we can now write down our answer which is absolute maximum is the value for absolute maximum square root 2 and it is at 3 pi by 4. At 3 pi by 4 the value is square root of 2 and for absolute minimum is at 7 pi by 4 and the value is minus square root 2. So that is how you could actually solve such questions. I hope that helps. Thank you.